Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix K-Mode exception not handled error. Usually, blue screen errors occur when your OS suffer a serious blow and is forced to stop completely. The K-Mode exception error, with all its possible variations, has a few fixes, which I will show you in a few moments. The first fix would be installing the missing drivers. The K-Mode error can sometimes be caused by missing or corrupt drivers. In case you cannot access Windows 10, you might have to do this procedure from the safe mode. One way to get into safe mode would be while your computer boots, just keep pressing F8 or Shift plus 8, depending on your device. If the shortcut works, you should see a list of options available. Just choose safe mode with networking and wait until your computer starts in safe mode. Then proceed with these steps. Press the Windows key plus X and choose Device Manager from the menu. Then you have to find any unknown devices, right click them and choose Update Driver. The first thing I recommend is choosing Search Automatically for updated driver software. But if that doesn't work, just go on the next option, which is Browse my computer for driver software. Then, after you installed all the missing drivers, exit the safe mode and check if the issue resolved. In some cases, the K-mode error can include the problematic file bdcellfpr.sys. Some users reported that changing the name of the problematic file to bdcellfpr.s underline has fixed the problem for them. But bear in mind that changing the names of these files isn't always the best solution because it can lead to even more system instability. My suggestion is that if you plan to change the name of the file that is causing the issue, just make sure that you're not changing the name of any crucial system file. Another possible solution for the K-Mode error would be uninstalling the on-off gigabyte. The on-off gigabyte is a program designed to work with USB power stations. However, users reported that the driver for this software is outdated and incompatible with Windows 10. If you use such software on your device, just make sure to remove it. And another solution would be manually set your CPU voltage. Few users reported that the CPU is sometimes responsible for the blue screen of death errors, and in this particular situation, you'll have to manually set the CPU voltage. This can be a potentially dangerous process for your device. Therefore, before you try it, just make sure to check your motherboard manual and consult with an expert. And the last solution, checking your RAM memory. It's always a good solution to check if you have any problems with the hardware in your device. So, to check your RAM, you firstly have to press the Windows key plus R, enter in the Run section and write mdsched.exe. Press either Enter or click OK. Then, in the Windows Memory Diagnostic window, just choose one of the two options and follow the instructions. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.